Hello everyone. Just connected to Wi-Fi. How's everybody's Monday? It's Monday today. Okay, let's find Emily. We're going live with Emily today. I'm good. Um, it's pretty, pretty hot in Singapore. I think today is really one of the hottest day I've done um, shooting outdoor um, for three of the photos and um, so busy today. So, how's everyone's Monday? Oh, I see somebody's from Indonesia. Wait, let's connect to Emily. Hello! Hi, Yo Yo, how are you? You look so good. Really, I'm just in my t shirt, my face. Are you at home? Yeah, I'm just at home. How are you? <laughs> Oh, sorry, see, I miss you. I hope to see you soon. Oh no! Oh my god, my my life machine. There's some problem with the life machine. <laughs> technical, like, yeah, technical issue. It's not really holding up my phone really well. Yeah, how are things? Happy uh, third birthday to Luca. I know he is just. Um, Having so much fun, having like the time of his life, celebrating with some of his good friends from school. And I'm just trying to like fix this situation going on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> so supportive. Oh. Yeah. Women empower, right? Of course, my sister is going to support. <laughs> I know. I know. It's good. It's such a good... Um, I mean, I, I think I just... Um, I think I'm just going to hold this paper um, talking to you and um, International Women's Day. Of course, we're going to talk about everything um, that we want to cover under this beautiful festival and um, celebrating women and find some inspiration from people around us. I'm like super close to <laughs> So... I have a couple of questions to ask you because, I mean, for people who are not familiar with Emily, I mean, I'm sure all of you guys are pretty familiar with her. She's from Hong Kong. She runs, um, oh my God, your husband is here, so supportive <laughs> every time. <laughs> yeah, so um, she runs Echo, Eco Drive Hong Kong. And she have just launched her new um, online platform, Eight Shades. Um, maybe you should talk a little bit more about the new platform that you just launched. Well, um, first of all, uh, happy International Women's Day. I just <laughs> want to um, recognize and highlight all the you know contributed, contribution that so many women before us um, has made you know, paving the path for all of us. Um, hello to everyone. Um, for those that don't know me, I'm Emily Lamho. And first and foremost, um, I'm a mom, uh, a woman founder. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, you know, put that forward. And um, I'm also um, a woman entrepreneur that just um, launched a startup called Eight Shades. It's a purpose-driven modern lifestyle platform that guides an entire sustainability across living, beauty, wellness, and style, inspiring to make the world um, one shade greener. Um, we are called Eight Shades because we believe that everyone can take on, take on a different shade in their sustainability journey. So um, please go check out eightshades.com. And I hope it will inspire and empower everyone here to, you know, make a slight equal change in their life so that's eightshades.com so go check it out <laughs> <laughs> okay so um maybe we can also 
talk a little bit more about what International Women's Day uh, means to you. Um, well, International Women's Day, I think, is very important um, to recognize um, a lot of the women that has paved the path for uh, paved the path. Um, for us um, that got us to where we are today and it's also a reminder um, for us to make sure that you know we still support each other and we are ch you know checking up on each other um, I think it's 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 very important to be able to have a day to you know celebrate um, but I think every day is Women International Day because every day we need to celebrate each other and we need to celebrate you know the milestones that we have made going forward well, actually, I do agree that we should celebrate this great day every single day. And as a modern woman, entrepreneur, um, content curator, mother, how do you juggle multiple roles um, and still be at your best? Well, uh, the struggle is real. Um, now that I've just started Eight Shades, I'm definitely finding it, you know, a lot more challenging um, running a startup and being a mom. Mm -hmm. I mean, Yo-Yo, I relate as a working, you know, as a working mother. Um, we just have to face it, charge through with as much positivity as we can. And, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about work-life balance. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when I'm in other, like, women forums, you know, they ask me about work-life balance. But at the end of the day, I honestly don't believe in work-life balance. Mm -hmm. I think the word work-life integration is better. Um, if anybody actually, you know... Um, have reached um, work-life balance, please teach me because I'm definitely not there yet. Um, <laughs> I'll learn from you. Please DM me. Um, no. But I, <laughs> yeah, we all balance. need to connect with this person. Yeah, well, work-life balance is like nirvana to me. You know, it's, it's like another level. I don't think I'll ever uh, reach it. Um, and mm -hmm. it's challenging for me because um, at home, I miss my true uh, at home I miss my work and I'm constantly thinking about my work and then when I'm you know at work I'm thinking about my children I miss them and this is like the Fisher cycle um, called the story of my life but um, it's slightly easier because I am passionate about what I'm doing and at the end mm -hmm. of the day um, I think you have to be really passionate about what you do and I'm passionate about sustainability and I'm passionate about promoting sustainability and it yeah. makes it slightly easier when I remind myself that I'm doing this not just for myself, but, you know, for my children, for their future and all the children out there. So um, it makes it a little less challenging just knowing that fact. So mm. what are some of the difficulties when, uh, uh, you faced? Um, what are some of the challenges you face uh, in, in balancing all of this? And what are the things that you actually overcome? Um, I think one very real um, emotion is mom guilt. Um, I think that is like the most challenging thing for me. And mm -hmm. I'm constantly guilty when I'm at work. And I also have to, that's why, you know, I have to remind myself that I'm doing this. Um, yeah. I think that's a challenging thing. Um, I think having to be very, very organized, and I'm not the most organized person in the world, and having um, it very structured, you know, when I can spend my kids or if I have to pick up my kids today or I have to schedule work I think that is one thing that is the most challenging to me is it's it's organization which I'm working on but I mean I still see you spending a lot of time with your kids and going outdoor with them and then I, I, I even see like some of sometimes that like you guys go to the farm I think those are very good like you know activity together with the kids I think it's very important to have quality time with your kids yeah you know your family, either with your significant other or your family. So when I'm spending quality time with them, I try to put down my phone and just concentrate on my kids. And when mm -hmm. I'm on work, I try to focus. So I limit the time um, mm -hmm. so that I, you know, be all there. Yeah. And um, which female figure has positivity, positively impacted you? And what is one lesson she has taught you? Well, it's very hard to narrow down um, to one person because there's so many women that have, you know, had positive impact in my life. And I can honestly mm -hmm. acknowledge I will not be where I am today without them. Um, yeah. My first female boss, you know, mm -hmm. my, my first um, real job, you know, she was um, 
you know, when I was in banking, you know, like she really gave me opportunity and she really taught me and mentored me, even though I always make fun um, that our relationship is a little bit like Devil Wears Prada, but kind of in the banking mm -hmm. world, because she's like known to be like tough. But I feel like um, I really related to her and she's really taught me a lot. And um, I think it's very important now to um, have positive female role models out there. And it's very important to have like a group of supportive friends, like a tribe that will um, kind of, you know, support you and, and empower you. Um, like Yo-Yo here, you know, I, I want to take this chance to publicly acknowledge what a great and supportive friend you've been. Aww. And this I also looking forward to do this talk because, you know, um, when I wanted to start Eight Shades, um, you encouraged me a lot. And I came to you for a lot of questions because I've never run a website myself. And, you know, I, I'm not familiar with the business and I'm learning on the spot. And, you know, you've been so supportive, answering all my questions and empowering me to do this. Because at one point, I wasn't sure if I want to launch something new during pandemic. But you, Arissa, you know, you guys encouraged me so much. And I think it's, this is why... You know, I wanted to, you know, let the record show <laughs> that I want to thank you. Um, and I think this is like, the, this is like a case of like women empowering women, like friends empowering each other. And I think it's very important to have, you know, friends there that will support what you do and understand what you do. And, you know, at times when I was going through some challenging um, hurdles when I was setting up my eight shades, you know, I called you in the middle of the night and I was like, can you... <laughs> about this like graphics and you know things that i it's a steep learning curve but you know you were so good and i just want to publicly thank you for being Aww. a good friend and me out of my comfort zone to launch this um so yeah thanks yo yo no i mean to be honest i i think that the the platform that you develop is great like in asia i think especially in asia i mean those uh website is very popular in the US or in the UK but I think in Asia we still lack of like those websites that educate people how to be more green and how I mean a lot of people are very interested in that topic but like they don't know how to start so I think that's um, a very good channel for people who are um, I mean relatable like like as you are you're living in Hong Kong for people who are more relatable to to you and to your content I, I, I think I really think that that is a great idea and to be honest like you also impacted me in a way that I should like you know be more be more conscious of what I consume and what I what I what I use um, in terms of like you know single plastic use and blah 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 so like you know like I do still like carry my water bottle and stuff like sometimes like I'm like mm, okay we shouldn't like I, I'm constantly like reminding myself about like not to use single use plastic so I guess like that's also the the impact that you 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 have on me and I think um do uh I mean, supporting each other, we kind of like learn from each other as well. So, yeah, I think that is that is a good way to kind of like conclude like how women should uh, support each other. Um, yeah, let me, let me yeah. show, this is a perfect case of a woman supporting woman, a friend supporting a friend, and relying on each other and making a positive impact for the world. So, yeah, just wanted to put that out there in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> And what, why do you think it's more important than ever for women to help each other? Um, because I think women often feel more supported and more understood and, you know, um, and I think they experience more career satisfaction when they're mentored by other women. Um, mm -hmm. Like one way or another, we've all experienced similar challenges. We've all experienced um, similar experiences, you know, when mm -hmm. we are going through the either corporate letter or being a woman founder or you know having a startup you know we come through a lot of the same you know challenges and i think it's very important to share your stories and to empower mm -hmm. each other. um and uh usually when women support each other they experience more success because they feel like they're being empowered by someone that is similar to them so i think it's very important to have mentors and you know in my case you know i've personally experienced it that's why i think it's very important um for women to empower and to support other women mm. and how do you think women can empower other women how do you empower the woman that in your community i mean I, 
important um, that we use our voice and use our platform. Um, mm -hmm. Like in my case, um, using my voice, you know, create a platform like Eight Shades, you know, that is revolving conversation around, you know, women empowerment, um, awareness, and, you know, we should have more talks like this and not just on Women International Day. I think yeah. the rhetoric needs to carry on. I think the story needs to carry on. I think we need to talk about it because, mm -hmm. um, you know, I encourage, you know, you, you know, whoever, um, you or, you know, friends or anyone watching this to use your own platform and to voice, you know, use whatever is available to you so we can spread awareness and whatever, spread whatever is important to you and whatever that cause may be. It might be woman empowerment, it might be sustainability, it might be, you know, um, health, it might be, you know, woman health, it might, it might be anything, it might be venture investing, you know, um, use your voice. I think it's very yeah. important to build I a think platform. I think also another case that like women supporting women is that uh, what I've ever like, you know, ever since I became a mother, like everything that I experience in terms of like even breastfeeding or what, like those little simple things on daily basis, like people are willing to help. And um, like, you know, like the mother around me, like I'm so willing to help if they even send me like, you know, guides and they send me their notes. So I, I think that it's like, I feel great uh, around those people. And I, this is why I believe like building a community is so important. Celebrate each other, supporting each other, you know, like be open, ask questions. You know, the best way we can support each other is to share each other's stories and be able to communicate that with each other. You know, whether it's fail failures, um, challenges, good or bad or the worst, you know, if we share with each other, mm -hmm. I think, it, 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 you know, we have to celebrate everything. We have to celebrate our wins. We have to celebrate our loses you know that's why i think it's very important to build a community and this is what i'm trying to do with eight shades too you know i want to build a community for people to share you know their their challenges when it comes to being having a more sustainable life or successes or you know things mm -hmm. that i've experienced because you know we i think this year pandemic we can all realize that the world is very small and we yeah. are also inter in a way um and you know i feel like it's as urgent as a pandemic sometimes you know because we are all living in this world and there's no planet b and i think that's why it's very important to set up communication um to be able to have a community to talk about these things you know the, the experiences that we have and to empower each other to you know make changes and to push forward yeah collective impact what is, is very what is the one change uh you hope to see in the future for women <sighs> one change there's so many changes i want to see I see more opportunities um for women whether it's um to be treated and paid on par with any men cou counterpart because out there there's still like a, a big difference you know whether it comes from um men and women having the same job i think like job pay equality is one thing and i think education is another thing i think it's very important um for you know girls to get education you know at a young age because a lot of them yeah. you know they and because of you know um, family economics or you know like situation they drop out of school and I think um, educate girls education I really support that because I think mm -hmm. it's very important to empower young girls to um, not be dependable um, on their male counterpart for livelihood and, mm -hmm. and be more independent because they can have their own job you know they can go to university they can support themselves and I think a lot of business law needs to change because there needs to be more diversity on um, boards because right now it's, you know, majority of, you know, boards on like um, Fortune 500 companies um, are still majority male. And I feel like there needs to be more diversity because diversity um, increases profitability. And I think we need equal representation. I can go on and on and on, you know, but you know, <laughs> you're I think your people. audience are very, are very <laughs> interested in your talk. Like I see a lot of comment, like, asking you to continue talking and like talking more about sustainability and a lot of those things. I think people love what you're saying. Yeah, and I think one really important thing that I want to highlight out there is that we need to normalize working moms because mm. there's always a title like, oh, you're a working mom. But my husband's a working dad too. And you don't see that kind of, you know, quotations. And yeah. I feel like we need to change the norm. Um, mm -hmm. For example, I think it's very important not to praise men on every little task they do at home because mm -hmm. like in, at least in my household, you know, we are equal. 
So, you know, you shouldn't praise a man when, oh my God, look at that father. He dropped the kid off school like one day, but working moms drop kids off every day. Why don't you praise yeah. the woman? I think it's very important to, you know, normalize that or, oh, oh my God, that he's an amazing father. You know, he changed one diaper and you're like, mm -hmm. well, I changed like 20 million diapers like every day. I think we need to <laughs> And for like little things, because we make it okay. So we need to start, you know, praising moms, you know, normalizing working moms. I think that is one thing that I really want to push going forward. Yeah. And lastly, what advice would you offer as a woman to fellow women um, this International Women's Day? Well, I always say, you know, like, like Valentine's Day, like every day is a Valentine's Day, you know, that saying, I think every, every day, day should be International Women's Day. National Women's Day and every every day you know, we need to like celebrate each other and we need to celebrate what minds, milestones we have. Mm -hmm. um, I, one advice that I have is um, uh, you need to be really authentic with yourself. Mm -hmm. I think you need to find your passion and I think it's very important to follow your passion. Um, yeah. That is what I work around and um, yeah, I think that that's very important and to most importantly not just celebrate International Women's Day I think you need to celebrate yourself love yourself you know and celebrate your own milestones whatever that may be you know whatever little achievement that you've achieved I think it's very important to you know celebrate and be happy yourself I think that is you know the most important thing to me everything every day um, start from the smallest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. okay I think that's all for um, the questions that I have for you. And I wish you all the best for the new platform. And for people who want to um, watch this conversation, you can watch the video on either both of our channel. And hopefully see you guys again to talk about more in-depth um, stuff on this topic. And have a great Monday. <laughs> Thanks, Yo-Yo. I hope to see you in person soon. I, I know. Miss you. I miss you too. All right. See you guys. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Everyone. Happy International Women's Day. Happy every day. Happy every day. See ya.